And welcome into the Vegas Insider YouTube channel. I'm Tom. Today we're going to be going over Tuesday's Elite Eight best bet. So only two games, the ones that are going to be played on Tuesday, that is the USC Trojans going to be taking on the Gonzaga Bulldogs and then the UCLA Bruins taking on the Michigan Wolverines. So let's not waste any more time and get right to the trends and the different spreads associated with these games. Start with the first Elite Eight game that we have here, USC Gonzaga. Gonzaga, they are going to be opening as a nine point favorite with the point total at 153 and a half. Let's take a look at some of the trends now. The ATS, USC, they are 19 and 13 on the spread this season. Gonzaga, they are 15, 12, and two, basically split with a 15 and 14 ATS record. Moving to the point total now, USC, they are 16, 15, and one on the OU, essentially split along with Gonzaga, as they are essentially split with a 15 and 14 OU. However, when you combine both records, it slightly favors the point total possibly going over. Let's take a look at some of the betting trends now associated with this game, beginning with USC. The Trojans, they have scored 70 points or more in six of their last seven games. Also, USC, they have won six of their last seven games with the last three coming by a double digit point total. This is a very intriguing stat here especially if you fancy the USC Trojans. Andy Enfield, the head coach of the USC Trojans, he is 10-0 on the ATS when playing in March Madness. He is 7-0 with the USC Trojans and 3-0 with Florida Gulf Coast. Remember, they were the first number 15 seed to reach the Sweet 16. Let's take a look at Gonzaga's betting trends. Gonzaga, the obvious one, they have won 29 straight games in a row. Also, Gonzaga, they have gone over the point total in four of its last five games after going under the game prior. Let's take a look at the predictions for this Elite Eight game. I like USC to cover the given nine point spread with a final score of 79 to 72 favoring Gonzaga. So although I do think USC loses this game outright, Andy Enfield's 10 and 0 ATS record and USC's 19 and 13 ATS record, I think comes into play along with the size advantage USC has with the Mobley down low, along with Taj Eddy shooting a lot of threes from the outside, USC just seems put together well to cover a pretty large spread. Nine points is a lot. So USC plus nine and the point total possibly going under. However, of the two, I like USC to cover as the better bet. Let's move to the second game now in the Elite Eight, the last Elite Eight game before we move to the Final Four. That is UCLA versus Michigan. Michigan is the obvious favorite here with a seven point spread and the point total is set at 136 and a half. Let's take a look at some of the trends now. Let's begin with UCLA. Their ATS is 16 and 14. So although impressive, it's not as impressive as Michigan's ATS record this season in which the Wolverines are 19 and eight. The OU is a bit tricky as teams go in different directions here. UCLA, they're 17 and 13 on the point total, 17 games going over while Michigan is 11 and 16 on the OU, 16 games going under. So that market is a little bit more tricky to predict. We'll get to that in a second. Let's take a look at the Michigan betting trends for this game. Michigan, they are, they have won six of their last seven games when playing in the state of Indiana, which they have done a lot being in the Big Ten. They played in a few arenas, Mackey Arena, uh, Lucas Oil Stadium, Simon Scotch up in Bloomington, Indiana. That's where the Hoosiers play. So Michigan, they do well in the state of Indiana. Michigan has also won eight of its last nine games when playing on a neutral court. Michigan, they have gone under the point total in seven of their last 10 games. Let's take a look at the Bruins betting trends now. UCLA, they have covered in five of their last eight games when playing as the underdog, along with winning four straight games straight up. So what does this all mean? Well, I think the final prediction here is going to see Michigan win this game by the final score of 72 to 64, just covering the seven point spread and just going under the 136 and a half given point total. That's going to do it for us here at the Vegas Insider YouTube channel. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you have to do. But most importantly, go out there, make some good bets, make some money off these games. Good luck out there. Until next time, we'll see you.